Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Finally uh, had some time tonight to make a video and I received yesterday in the mail and excuse me, I received yesterday in the mail my April 2018 BoxyCharm box. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you. And something I did differently was I went ahead and put on some of the products here so that you could kind of see what they look like. I know the lighting isn't the best, but we will do our best. So when I opened the box, this was the card that was inside. Um, this month's theme is eye candy. And then this explains all of the products in the box. And then they do give you some coupons for the brands that are included in this box. So the first thing I saw when I opened it up, and I have not used this yet, but I plan to, this is the Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner Pore Purifying Mask by Dr. Brandt. If it, uh, if it helps the pores, I am all for it. So I'm going to try this actually when I take my makeup off. The next thing I found, I apologize, this looks like it, maybe it slid down just a bit. Okay. The next thing I found was called the Brow Gal, Tanya Crooks. This is the Instant Light Hairs Number no. 03 Tinted Brow Gel with Microfibers. And it is light, but you can, I have fair skin and light brows, so I did go ahead and put some on. I'm not quite sure what I think of it yet, but I'll use it a few other times. But here's what it looks like. It's got that little spoolie on the end, so... We'll see. I'll use it a few a few more times and see what I think of it. The other thing that I got was by Tarte. Tartist Pro Glow. And this is a liquid highlighter, which I have lots of highlighters, but I've never used a liquid one. And so here is the tube. It's kind of a champagne color. And I just, I put it on. You can kind sort of see it there I apologize I didn't I just put powder on I didn't put foundation on and so but look how pretty this is I'll kind of blend it out here it's very very pigmented can you see that glow look at that it's kind of a, a champagne color I'm, I think I'm gonna really like this although I've never tried a liquid highlighter before so we will see the next thing I got was by, I believe it's Ades, A-D-E-S-S-E -S -S -E of New York, a high definition liquid lipstick. And this is a really pretty nude color. So I was really happy to see this. It's, I think maybe coming off a little more pink on camera here than it really is. I've got it on my lips. And let me go ahead and swatch this on my hand too. It's a little bit darker of a nude, but I really like it. See that? So pretty. Woo. And you can see the highlighters blinding. <laughs> okay, so this is really good. It's not sticky at all. Um, it's still kind of wet, so it's not one of those that dries like a matte lipstick where it dries and then makes your lips all dry and stuff. It's got plenty of hydration and it's not sticky. So I really, really like this one and will continue to use it. I was looking for some good nudes anyway. Nude lipsticks, that is. So um, I really like this one. Okay. And last but not least, I knew that there was going to be an eyeshadow palette in this box. And I think there was maybe four or five different choices that they were going to send you so I didn't know which one I was going to get. I knew it was a ColourPop palette and I've never used ColourPop before although I hear wonderful things about it. So I was kind of pleasantly surprised when I opened up my BoxyCharm box and I got the My Little Pony collaboration with ColourPop palette. How cute. I mean I love unicorns and all of this kind of stuff anyway. So I was actually at first I was like oh is this going to be like too kiddish and whatnot? And then I thought, oh, who cares? And I liked the colors. So I did go ahead and put it on my eyes, as you can see. And let me just open this up 
and share with you what the palette looks like and give you my little review because I did use it. How cute is that? And then the back has your colors on there. But here is the palette. How adorable is this? So these colors are very, very soft. You know, this is, um, this is not like a high end palette where it's not going to be 40, 50, $60. I believe they said these are usually around 16 to $20, which is very, very affordable in my opinion for a makeup palette. And I will tell you, I don't think that the pigment is bad. Um, I will wear it. I love the colors for this spring. I am just all up into the, the dark mauve and rose colors. And so that's what I have on my eye right now. I've got mauve right here. And then I went ahead with this kind of shimmery purple and put it on the inside. So just nice and springy. I will tell you that these, these are really, really soft. Let's see if I can swatch them here a little bit. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but let's see here. But you can see, you know, they're fairly pigmented. And this teal one, I can't wait to use this one. Um, I have no idea how it's going to work on my eyes, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch these. Oh, look at those. And those are nice, cool colors. Nice, cool. Look how shimmery those two are. I love these. And this was the bottom row. This is kind of a mint well it's it's kind of a greeny gray actually and this is definitely a really dark plum and then a light color in this teal those are beautiful anyway i wanted to just swatch a few shades for you i like the pigmentation i think it's really good and especially for what you pay for it i really think color pop is good um you know if you can't afford to go buy a you know 50 or $60 Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. ColourPop is a really, really wonderful alternative. Great colors, great pigmentation. So I definitely give this palette a thumbs up. Not only that, but it is super cute. So that is my April 2018 BoxyCharm box. I thank you guys for so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.